When your feet are wet, you can see the folds that crisscross your soles and deform your toes. What a maze! Folds in the skin imply that one layer of skin is bent over the other, as if you were pinching it continuously. These folds are very deep, and walking on them can be painful, mostly if you're heavy. But the real pain comes from the places where two folds meet, the fold crossings. Since each fold is a groove, their crossings are like craters that dig deep inside your skin. And they hurt. Every aching spot on your feet is, in fact, a fold crossing. It's the internal tension inside a fold crossing that makes it painful. When you press your nail into it, you decrease its tension and the pain is reduced. To perform pressure strokes, place your nail on an aching spot and apply moderate pressure for a few seconds. Release the pressure and repeat, and repeat, and repeat. Refrain from putting too much pressure or you may tear the skin. You can use your nail, your fingertip, or both. Pressure strokes usually last two to five seconds, but when you feel that your nail is exactly in the right spot, you can lengthen them to over one minute. To get the job done faster, group up to four fingers together and use both hands. You'll find hundreds of fold crossings on your feet, but only a few are painful. Start by grooming those. As you explore the skin of an aching region with your nail, you'll immediately feel the folds. Try to locate the point that hurts the most, and you'll discover a depression, a bump, or a skin deformation. That's a fold crossing. As you press your nail into it, you will feel your pain inside of it. Since you can reach your pain so easily, it proves that it doesn't come from the bones, joints, muscles, tendons or ligaments beneath it, but from the skin itself. You have to find the right pressure in order to free the skin but not hurt yourself even more. It's easy to put too much pressure. So, if you're unsure, hold back your nail. Apply several pressure strokes on each crossing. As you crush and flatten the folds and their crossings, the pain they produce will diminish and eventually disappear. The skin of the top of your feet is very thin compared to the soles. It has been compressed by all the footwear you've worn. The skin has lost its flexibility and has attached itself to the bones and to the mechanism of the articulations of your feet and ankles. Now, when you turn your foot too much, pain appears. You can restore the lost suppleness by covering the whole region with forefinger pressure strokes, as often as you can. Make sure you don't scratch or scrape the skin as you go. The skin will gradually become more malleable and pain-free. The most important fold on each foot is the standing position fold. You spend lots of time standing up and walking, and the weight of your body creates a horizontal fold at ground level all around your feet. This very compressed fold divides the sole from the top of your feet, and your foot pain often comes from there. The standing position fold needs special attention, but only in some sections. Calluses are regions of hardened skin on the feet and people use all kinds of methods to remove them. They don't understand that the skin of calloused regions is folded. It's the depth of these folds that makes the skin thicker. 
The skin needs to be unfolded, not sanded. Plow the skin of calloused and hardened regions repeatedly with your nails, and they will regain their flexibility and painlessness. Every time you press your nail where it hurts and free the skin, you're removing the cause of the pain. Liberating your feet is a long process that you can't achieve in a few days only. Try to groom often, but for short periods. Water makes the skin of your feet much more supple. So, try to groom while you bathe or shower, or in the following minutes. The skin of your soles is overly sensitive, and some regions may be ticklish. But, you should be able to overcome this feeling. If you hurt yourself, don't give up. Let it heal and revise your technique. Change your attitude towards the skin of your feet and try to respect it more. Any hardship you put on it now will come back to haunt you in a painful way. Rethink your footwear. If you can't run comfortably with what you're wearing, you're hurting your feet. Always keep your feet as straight as possible. For more information on human grooming, go to my website. Thanks and good grooming!